Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so I'm going to be designing something all by myself in Tinkercad. So I think I'm going to make like a coaster maybe. Nice. So. And then you're going to what with it? I'm going to 3D print it. Cool. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so stick around to see how I do it. <laughs> So we've opened up Tinkercad. We're going to drag in a cylinder. We also need to edit the grid. We're going to change it to inches. And we're going to change it to whatever slicer is. In our case, we're going to be doing Ultimaker 3. Update. Now we're going to fit it to size on how big we want it. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger than what our cup size would be just because we're going to end up adding a hole later. So that's what it looks like. So now we're going to change the length of it. Just make it a little bit thinner. That's looking pretty good. Um, so now we're going to get our hole, the shape we want our hole to be, where we would put the mug actually in. I think we'll go with the polygon. We're going to turn it into a hole. We're going to change the size. And that isn't like fit to it, so we're just going to adjust it. We're going to pull up the hole with the little black arrow. Going to make it centered. We're just turning snap grid off. Now we are going to group it. So now it's just one object. So I'm ungrouping it just so I can move up the hole because we're also going to be adding text. So we don't want it to be too thin of a surface. That's looking pretty nice. Now we're going to go to text and numbers and drag on text and change the text. The text we're doing is be happy. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye. We're going to readjust the size just so it fits better. We're just going to change both of the text to holes. So 
So now we need to move our text up. So we're just gonna um, drag up the little black arrow to make it go up so the text doesn't go all the way down to the surface. So now we'll just group everything together. I'm just gonna change the color so I have a better understanding of what it will be looking like once we're done printing. And that's what it's going to look like. So now we're going to export it as a SDL file. And it'll show up in your downloads. We have opened up our slicer, Ultimaker Kira. We're gonna tap on the folder icon. We're gonna go to Coaster SDL, open it. We are using a TPU material. We're gonna slice it. Looks like it will take four to five hours. We're gonna preview it. I don't think it will need any supports. Looks good, save to file. We're gonna rename it TPU Coaster. We're doing this because we can just look at the file and know which um, filament we need to load. We're gonna save it. It will fit a water bottle or whatever we want to put on a coaster. So now, let's take it off. Got it. Oh, it's nice and bendy and squishy here. Because we used TPU material. It's pretty nice. It feels really squishy right here. It's pretty nice. Oh, it's pretty nice. Be happy. No, you did a great job designing all by yourself and 3D printing all by yourself, which is great. It frees up my time, so mm -hmm. you can just really sit proud back of you. Relax. Yeah, and I can just sit back with a cold beverage and let you do all the work. <laughs> so if you like this design, like my dad here, you can go ahead and check the link down below and you can download it off of Thinkiverse. Anyways! so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time you post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye!